Welcome to Sam's Travel Diaries. This is La Bacuria Market. La Bacuria Market is Spain's Barcelona's biggest food market with an average of 40,000 visitors a day. Possibly one of the best foodie paradises on earth. La Bacuria Market has been voted one of the best food market in the world by CNN. Labacoria or El Makata San Joseph the Labacoria as it is officially called is located on the iconic La Rambla street in the center of the city today one of the most popular tourist sites in Barcelona it continues to be an important center for local commerce and the shopping place of choice for many of the city's chefs The origins of La Bacoria market can be traced back to the 12th century when local producers from around the city would gather on the outskirts of the old town and sell their goods to the locals. By setting up their stalls outside the walls of the city, they avoided paying the import tax that was owed on goods sold inside the old town. The current location of La Bacuria was in part determined by an unfortunate incident during which the convent of St. Joseph, which once stood where the market is today, was burned down and a temporary structure for the market was built in its space. This eventually became the permanent home of the largest market in Catalonia, which today covers some 2,500 2, square meters and contains 300 stalls selling local and international produce. The market is believed to be behind the origin of the flower stalls which today are a popular feature of La Ram Plus. In the early days of the market, vendors would offer cut flowers to their customers as a thank you for their trade, and so created the demand for a supply of fresh flowers nearby. Today, the market is home to a large number of stalls selling fresh fruit, vegetables, meat and fish. As well as dried fruits, cured meats and a selection of local specialities. Despite its popularity amongst tourists, it continues to serve much of the local population and is regularly visited by some of the city's most prominent chefs in search of inspiration. In addition to the wide variety of local products and exotic specialities colorfully displayed on the stands, the market features a series of restaurants, takeaway dives, and traditional tapas bars where visitors can sample delicious foods. No reservations needed in these restaurants. If you want to sit down, there is some skill to it. You will need to lock around people who look about to finish eating, then pounce on the chairs when they pay. 
Today is not a busy day due to a bad weather in last couple of days. An equally important part of the market is the Bakuria Food School, which provides various cooking courses taught by professionals and creative chefs. Spain produces an astonishing 40 million hams a year and some of the best ones end up here. Here we are not concerned as much about stalls as we are ensuring we get a good quality cut of ham on. The fruit and vegetable stalls are without a doubt the most colorful and fascinating of all the market. You will find everything from exotic fruits to different types of chili peppers to edible flowers. In Catalan language, Boc means goat, Bocuria means the shop that sells goat meat. But over time, on the Spanish dining table, the pork dishes are much more favored than the goat meat. Different types of nuts, dry fruits, candies, chocolates are sold in this shop. Let's walk around and see the entire market.
I said goodbye to Labakuria market. In contrast to the usual weather conditions in Barcelona, the last two days have been accompanied by heavy rain and storm, so there is no much rush in streets. Now I am walking through one of the busiest and longest walking street in Barcelona, the La Rambla street. The famous Columbus monument located at the end of this La Rambla street. I am going to see that next. The Christopher Columbus monument was built in 1888 in honor of the redoubt explorer and discoverer of America. It consists of a statue of Columbus standing on a tall column. The Columbus monument was inaugurated on the occasion of the World Fair on 1st June 1888. After a lengthy overall, the monument a column was reopened to the public in June 2013. The monument is 60 meter tall and consists of a base plinth pedestal and at the very top a bronze statue of Christopher Columbus himself. The statue is set to depict Columbus pointing with his right hand towards New York and the new world he had explored. However, somewhat controversially, the statue is actually pointing the southeast and it is believed that this was done so that Columbus would appear to be pointing in the direction of the sea located to the southeast of where the statue is placed as opposed to inland. The monument is in fact also a viewing gallery which members of the public can access via a lift located inside the column, making the monument an ideal spot to discover the city from above. Today is my second day in Barcelona. A favorable climate has been predicted from tomorrow. I have traveled enough for today. Tomorrow I am going to visit one of the most beautiful views of Barcelona. As I always say, you are my energy. So please don't forget to subscribe the channel and leave your valuable comments. We'll be back next week with new wonders of sights. Until then, this is Sam from Sam's Travel Diaries signing off.